Welcome back. In the last 19th session, we have seen the buyer retiring the docs from their bank and checking these original docs and giving it to clearing house agent or custom house agent for clearing their cargo and getting it to their factory or the warehouse. Right? So now in this 20th session, uh, we will see after buyer retiring the docs and simultaneously clearing the cargo, what are the steps involved. So basically now these steps are checking indenter, means us, with the supplier, whether supplier has received the payment or getting the confirmation uh, for the payment from the buyer's bank in case of 90 days LC. If it is a LC site, uh, then uh, buyer, uh, from buyer, then supplier might have already got the payment. So accordingly, we'll intimate to the supplier based on the information of the buyer that they have retired the document or they have made the payment and accordingly, we will uh, get the confirmation from the supplier that yes, they are in receipt of uh, payment or uh, uh, you know the documents confirmation and uh, now we can uh, raise the invoice, the indenter can raise the invoice. So based on the supplier's confirmation, indenter will raise the invoice for uh, doing this kind of a facilitating uh, the supplier for the order uh, follow and also for the payment up to the payment stage. And once the payment is received, received by the supplier, so supplier will ask an uh, invoice and we will raise indenter, as an indenter, we will raise the invoice for how much quantity, suppose 1000 ton, uh, we have uh, facilitated the order on behalf of the supplier and $10 is commission, already we have fixed with the supplier in the beginning, so uh, uh, for 1000 metric ton facilitating this order uh, at the rate of $10 per ton, so US dollar 10,000. Uh, to be paid uh, to our bank account uh, in your means in our home country, right? <clears throat> so this can be uh, EFC account or it can be a current account depending on uh, whatever accounts in your country are there. Then you will ask them to credit it. Then supplier will uh, check everything uh, if the invoice is in order and uh, the whatever the reference uh, numbers are written correctly, the quantity and the agreed commission and the value. Uh, and then they will uh, internally check and they will set the remittance of the uh, payment if it is the LC side. Uh, otherwise, they will say that uh, this invoice has been received and on due date on 90th day, we will make the payment. So in that case, on the 90th day, we will receive the payment and once the remittance copy is received, then we will check either in LC side, it will be received immediately and in the case of LC 90 days, it will come uh, comes after 90th day from the bill of lading for the payment receipt from the supplier and then we will check accordingly with the bank, our bank and uh, we will intimate them, our bank that <coughs> this commission has been received from so and so supplier for fac uh, facilitating uh, this order on behalf of them uh, with the customer and uh, that is why this $10,000 is to be credited to our uh, account either EFC account or the current account, right? So. Once the remittance copy is received, we will tell, uh, indenter will tell uh, to uh, their own banker uh, that uh, we have uh, received the payment receipt for uh, uh, doing this uh, kind of activity and kindly credit uh, our amount to our EFC that is, uh, you know, earners, exchange earners uh, foreign currency account or the current account, whatever the case may be, or it may be a different account system in your uh, in your home country, so accordingly you will ask them to credit. So once we receive the credit, this one cycle <coughs> is uh, complete, you know, from the inquiry stage to receiving the uh, cargo by the, uh, uh, the buyer or customer and supplier getting the payment and ultimately indenter getting his, his own, own commission or payment or consulting fees. So this completes the cycle. <coughs> so is it not interesting that, you know, uh, we have been uh, not really investing as a indenter, but doing the matchmaking, <coughs> getting the follow-up done with the buyer and even with the supplier and ultimately the cargo is received in good condition and as per the quality. So all ends are met and we have uh, received our commission. So same way we can do uh, next order with the same customer and in between time we will execute also the similar product with the other customer and other customer. Like that we can do, we don't have to wait to till one transaction to get over. Of course with the same one client, same client, it will, we will have to wait probably. But otherwise, 
we can go to the other customers and try to make this cycle or from inquiry to the payment and receipt of our commission. So simultaneously, we can do uh, multiple transactions in our own home country or neighboring country or other countries in the same product or other products or same customer or other uh, customers or from the different suppliers to same customer or different supplier to different customer in home country or other countries. So like that, our expense is so big of this dating business without investing how you can uh, you know, make your revenue consistent and increase and this revenue becomes maybe the main part of your business in the future. So thank you very much. I hope you must have enjoyed the sessions, uh, 20th session. Then we'll do the conclusion session and then we'll have our do's and don'ts, right, in the further sessions. Thank you so much and uh, say goodbye and thank you very much and wish you all the best. Bye-bye.